8 to 10 seconds latency, I think, since that lag. But anyways, um, that's the health bar mod. Also a very cool mod. It's very nice to check out, just see how it works behind the scenes, like how much health, health you actually have. It's actually quite interesting. Yep, I find that I'm actually much closer to dying than I realize. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which makes it feel kind of uh, random, but, uh, you know, it's still a work in progress, so I'm sure it'll be great when it's actually done. I'm sure it will be. Yes, indeed. So let's move on. Let me see if I can bring that bring up. There we go. Okay. Zeramuli's made another mod this week that is super duper awesome. Super mega awesome. It's a linear level kit. And what this does is adds support for adding checkpoints and uh, death places or whatever. Surfaces that when you touch them, you will get a checkpoint from that surface or uh, places that when you touch them, you instantly die. And this is super duper mega uber awesome. So it takes a little bit of extra manual work, but uh, there is a, a pretty huge tutorial here explaining how everything works. So it should be quite easy to understand and set up. Something I uh, noticed though, that was that uh, in the XML file, he says that you should set the mat oh I, oh I see oh I see oh I see I misunderstood the mat uh, the uh, I misunderstood the uh, tutorial entirely so nowhere in the tutorial just error in my brain because I am <laughs> stupid well anyways I have made a couple of objects using this thing so let's try this out yeah it's interesting that he's using friction as the finding factor yeah that's very a very smart uh, solution. Let's see, dark corner, dark dirty cube kill. There we go. So this cube here will kill me if I if I uh, step on it. If I touch the side, I shouldn't get killed. No, but if I land on it, instant death. And I can't <laughs> stand up from there. Oh. I respawn from up there. <laughs> Where is that box? <laughs> Over there? Oh, up there. <laughs> Down you go. That wasn't meant to happen. There we go. Okay, so, and I made another object that uh, is supposed to act as a checkpoint. So, let's find that. Objects. Uh, furniture. Foot pillow checkpoint. So you make your own object. What you do basically is you make your own object that has a material, a special material applied to it. So when I stand on this object, I should get a checkpoint there. So let's try it out. I stand on this, and then I jump up. Stand on this. Okay, that's not the right object that's supposed to kill me. That's the one over there. Huh. I thought that this object was a bit too close. Hmm. <laughs> Swoosh. 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 A little height, right? So, yeah, as you can see, we have the red pillow right there. We have the original spawn point right there, and we have the killer thing right there. So when I die, I will now respawn at the red pillow, because that's the last thing I touched. The last checkpoint thing I touched. Respawn. See? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I just love this mod. This means that people can now implement uh, checkpoints in their levels, something that I have been wanting for ages and ages. And it's right. really, really cool to see the community making these tools, like Last's mod, where he displays all of the objects, so like this mod. Uh, we can make proper maps now. Now we just need a timer mod. Someone make a timer mod. Huh, I need a timer <laughs> mod. Jeez. Oh, water is so good. Yeah, anyways. So it is awesome. Yeah, what do what do you guys think? I, I like it. it. I mean it yeah. adds functionality and uh I hope someone makes like a challenge map or something. Yes indeed. The question, of course, will be, will this mod die every week, you know? Or is it, is it a, I mean, it seems like a little more, a little bit less 
involved in the way, meaning it's a little bit more about creating your own objects that have these options. But I think you're still going to have to uh, mod the AS character, AS care um, yeah, you file every week. Yes, you do. You For do now, need, anyway. You do need to change in the script files to make this happen. Since he's, as he's explaining in the thread, he's actually using the fric friction of the materials, which is a very smart solution. I would never have thought about that. But he, a material in this game can have a special friction, so he has a friction like one five 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 seven three, and then he knows that that material, if you walk on it, will kill you basically. And he checks in the code. If the material you're walking on has that friction, then uh, you will die. And if that material you're walking on has a the checkpoint friction uh, number, then uh, he will, I guess, move your spawn point there or something. I don't really know how it works, but it's genius. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't understand how the spawn point works because what happens? Yeah. What happens if you reset the level pressing the L? Yeah. Oh, I understand how it works now. I think. So when you stand on the pillow, or in this case the pillow, the, the object, the checkpoint object, it stores the location in a variable. So it's independent it. from the normal start. And then he just, uh, yeah, when you die, he uh, makes it so that you respawn. He sets your position to the variable, the player's position, and he sets the player to be alive. And that's basically how he does it. Right. The problem right now, though, is that enemies won't respawn. Uh, so enemies won't be affected at all by it, so uh, that's kind of bad, but for platforming maps it works great and I think that it's good that enemies don't aren't, aren't really affected by it, actually. I mean, if I killed a guy and I died afterwards and I respawned before the guy, I don't, wouldn't want to have to kill the guy again anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> really, yeah. really, really awesome mod by Zaramulis. And yes, the, absolutely. The, Yes, absolutely. And this mod can be downloaded in the SPS, SPF, of course. So you should totally check that out. Next up, we have Jarwas Rat Model, who he, which he has been working on, and he moved from the fan art thread to the Project Chaff thread. Uh, and he's shown some great progress on this, actually. Yeah, no, it's pretty. He's using in some check. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just saying that I think that the the um, the, the the models look awesome. Yes. I'm really happy with the way they look. Indeed. Excited by the way they look. Not happy with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you made them. I'm really happy with how we did this. I agree. Super duper awesome. Super duper omega awesome. Hope he gets this into the game eventually. Uh, we talked about this before, but uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be easy for him to rig uh, the uh, thing and stuff like that, and get it into the game. Right, he's already working in Blender, correct? So it should be should be close already, I think, to begin with. Yeah. So really nice to see an update there. Uh, we've already talked a lot about it, so we shouldn't probably not spend too much time on it. So let's just move on to the Cheshire's Compound 6 release. This is a, ma a map actually by um, the Ches Cheshire, mm -hmm. which is a, ma a map, I call it a mod. It's a map where <laughs> it's not actually done, it's a heavy work in progress. A lot of the features that he wants in there are not currently possible to put in there. Do you have this map loaded, Anton? I can load it right now. I'm going to turn off my game. I had, I had just quit, not really thinking about it. Um, it's fine. It's fine. So yes, it's it's loading right now. And of course, I still have the um, the uh, health bar mod installed, so can be a little distracting. Yeah, I don't think so. It'll be great. But <laughs> this level is huge. I, I I feel like I should show you um, by running around, but I'm actually going to just quickly zoom out and just go up and show you 
just how big this <laughs> level really is. He has this whole portion sectioned off, and you can see I'm this little guy right over down in the bottom, and it's just uh, a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, um, so I'll I'll start off by just where you start. There's all these little like stores, and he he hasn't loaded any characters in. So what he's done is he's put placeholders. So there's smiley faces <laughs> whenever there's a a friendly NPC. And then whenever there's a an enemy NPC, he's put these little red cross skull and bones. Um, and he's saying the ones in the cages should be wolves. Now as you go, if you start to count the number of characters, a lot of people's computers can't handle this many characters yet in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's great. He's added these little shops and stores. Um, and uh, yeah... It's it's pretty awesome to sort of run around and you can sort of get the feeling that there's a a market outside of this town. Not quite sure about the cat stool thing here. He's also <laughs> hidden a lot of little features. Like I know that there's a sword right here at this shack um, hidden away. But yeah, he said um, that there are actually three weapons on the level that you can find. Yep. I've actually, I think I've found all three. Awesome. So as we as we run up the hillside, um, you'll start seeing there are more characters to fight, or or try to uh, pretend to fight. <laughs> <laughs> pretend to fight. Die, die, die. Uh, you're not fighting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's like a little camp. It's like people hunting for wolves or something, and some old ruins which are pretty great and actually inside of these ruins are my favorite part of the whole game wow it looks like I'm broadcasting at really low quality that's obnoxious sorry anyway my favorite part is this um, set of bones with a sword sticking out of it <laughs> Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome I love that he sort of put together a skeleton and yeah. yeah, that is really cool. Actually, I remember when I used to do that in the early alphas, put together oh, skeletons yeah. and stuff. That was really awesome. But so he, he's used then, them in a better way, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> then, as we run off into the distance, we see this towering thing with a ton of objects sticking around it. More enemies, enemy placeholders to fight. And he's created this little platforming tower where the ultimate goal is to basically jump through the gold rings up at the top. And um, have unfortunately... You... Huh? Have Go... I what? Made it through this? Have you made it through this? I, I actually have made it through, but not in one attempt <laughs> at a time. Mm-hmm. So, so we'll see how much I can get through. Have you made it through? No, no, I didn't want to cheat, <laughs> so I just okay. um, tried to, a lot of times, I tried for like half an hour or something, but that one place with the beams, you know, so hard. Yeah, it is, it is quite difficult in some spots, and I'm actually, nope, I was going to cheat, but I can't. Um, unfortunately, this, there's a spot in here where this sign prevents easy running, wall running, to start, so sometimes I have a hard time getting up here. <laughs> mm, that's annoying. Yes, so he knows and he said he's going to fix it. And um, we'll see what happens. Oh good, I did it in my second attempt. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's really he's posting this on the uh, forums and asking for feedback. So you should try this map out and you know take a look at how it looks and uh, just test it out, giving feedback uh, like he's asking for. And this could turn out to be a really awesome level because it looks like he wants to do a lot with it. Right. Exactly. So unfortunately I fell right before the, <laughs> the, the little beam section. As you can see the beams, you kind of walk around inside these beams and it's crazy. But yes, go ahead. You were saying his, he has a lot he wants to do with the level. Yeah, exactly. So with the shops, the shops, yeah, the shops and uh, and all that, 
in the future, he c could actually make it so that you could buy weapons. 